So when I before I came out here to Arizona, which is where I'm at right now. I, don't know, I told you guys already in one of my videos that uh, I was homeless in Iowa. And um, I really didn't. I didn't want to be in the cold anymore. I didn't want to be homeless out there in the cold anymore. Because I've been out there homeless a few times. <clears throat> in the cold, and it's not that fun at all. So I decided to come out here because I know that it's warm. But you know, I, I got on the Greyhound with just a couple hundred bucks. And uh, on the way out here, I knew I was only coming out here with Jesus. And uh, I put my faith in Him. And um, I just want to share this Psalm, Psalm 22, with you guys. Because I feel like it really, I can relate to it. A lot. Um, I think it was King David who wrote it. Because you know, I'm a lot more happier out here than I was in Iowa. The only times I was really super about this happy as I am and content, I should say. Content and joyous and grateful is what I, is what I am and what I'm relaying this message to be. Because when I was in jail and I had, had a breakup and uh, I opened up the Bible, I was in there for about two months, a month and a half. I was reading the Bible and I was uh, singing praises to God. We had our own little Bible study in there. I don't know how it happened. But dude, we moved to that whole jail block. Like, every night, dude. We'd pray and... <laughs> I just wonder what it was like for the guys to look in there on those cameras. And look at every other block. I don't know what they were doing, but I know our block was straight, dude. <laughs> we had some problems, but where God is, good things are bound to happen. But I wanted to share this song with you guys. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That reading really described me something fierce, man. It was like, right at the end, I was like, man, I'm so dwelling in the house of the Lord forever. I mean, I have fallen down, and I have gotten back up, and I have fallen down, and I have gotten back up. And it took me to come all the way out to Arizona, Phoenix, one of the biggest cities in the United States of America. In the smack dab middle of the valley where a lot of crap goes down to be in no fear because the rod and my staff they comfort me <laughs> I mean seriously though like man if I would have came out here without Jesus I'd be finished I mean 
all I can do is praise God, man. I mean, it's amazing out here. It's Jesus. I already climbed up a mountain. Uh, not really big mountains or anything, but you know what? When you do stuff with Jesus, it seems like it's a mountain every time. Because it's just so beautiful. They got palm trees out here. They got awesome weather in the winter. I mean, I bet I'm gonna love it in this 100 degree weather. <laughs> People are telling me how much it sucks, but you know, I find myself looking at a lot of people and just wishing. Yeah, it's so close to Christmas. I was downtown. They got a beautiful downtown down here. I found myself down there yesterday night. You know, I was looking at all the people just, you know, thinking about how I used to be. They were all ice skating around a Christmas tree. And of course, I would think to myself, well, they have no idea that they are ice skating, ice skating around, you know, a false idol that has been set up to worship Satan, but you know what, you know, I was avoiding that, and I was looking at it like, you know, these people, they don't know, and it's just so, it's so beautiful to see them, you know, doing their thing, and living their life, you know, because that's why God sent his child here, is to die for, die for our sins, so that we can be saved, you know, and that's, it's deep. It's grateful, man, you know, just trying to look at it from that point of view, it's just something that I am blown away by, man. Two months ago, I wouldn't even have thought about something like that. I mean, I, I could have tried, I tried to do that every now and then, but you know, like, it was like, you know, I've got to play some video game or something. But, you know, when, when I was where I was, I was in Iowa. And, you know, I was born and raised in Iowa. <clears throat> and, you know, I had a lot of carnal security, I felt like. You know, and when you leave all your carnal security, your family, your friends, and, you know, like, you have to be taken really down really low in order to be lifted really high. Um, and I just pray that the people who are taken down really low do get the chance to see Jesus because to get, get to meet Jesus because he is amazing and he can lift you up higher than any TV program or walk with your wife. You know, I said that because, you know, that's somebody that you would love more than anything, you know, in your normal daily routine of whatever it is you do. But he would lift you up higher. Take you faster. In the Camaro, feel the ocean breeze on a whole different level. I mean, there's just so much awesomeness in him. It's just, you know, I, I only pray that some real Christians out there get to see some of these videos that I post and they can relate man because I want them to feel that too you know I want them to understand you know I want I want people you know it's rough it's rough out here man it's hard you know I love my God and I know that I can go through anything with him but you know it's nice to know that there's people out there that are doing the same thing that I do and I know there is you know you know, I just want somebody to understand the point of view and 
know that other people see it, like, you know, from an eye-to-eye -eye perspective. kind of like a seek to believe type thing but we all know faith is pretty strong